Hi, welcome to Learnovative. We are one of the leading Agile and Scrum certification providers and transformation consultants based out of India. My name is Vijay Bandaru. I'm the principal trainer at Learnovative. I am a certified Scrum trainer, certified team coach and certified enterprise coach from Scrum Alliance. I am one of the very few members in the world who hold all the three certifications, guide level certifications uh, from Scrum Alliance, CTC, CEC and CST. The objective of this video is to help you understand how our live virtual trainings will be. Because for the last two years, uh, everybody is into uh, this pandemic situation. Everybody is working from home, attending the meetings, trainings, webinars, conferences. Everything has become online. So you may be doubtful about whether the online classes will be really uh, engaging, really interactive, or do I get uh, the value for the money and time I'm going to spend with this trainer and training. So I have attempted to make this training to give you a glimpses of uh, how our live virtual trainings will be and what kind of activities will be there and how we'll make it interactive. So this video will help you to understand and make a decision about whether uh, you can join our training or not. So let's start. So first of all, we will share the handout to the uh, participants one day before. And uh, our handout looks like this. There will be a lot of blanks in the handout. You can see as you can see on my screen. And while we were explaining the content, we will try to fill this information while explaining. So the people will have like interactives. So this is our handout. And uh, we don't use any PowerPoint uh, slides during the class. So what happens is we use uh, our iPad to draw the things and explain. For example, while teaching waterfall challenges, we try to ask the participants uh, to share their experiences with waterfall. What are the possible challenges? And then once they have explained, we will highlight these things on the screen so that they can read one by one and see what kind of uh, sync is there with their understanding of the waterfall challenges. And this will create a lot of interactive discussions. Similarly, when we go to explain the Scanavin framework or the Stacy matrix, we explain by highlighting these sections based on the explanation. For example, simple problem means everything is known upfront. Complicated problem means known unknowns. And complex problem means unknown unknowns. Chaotic problem means unknowable unknowns. So like this, when we trying to explain the concept itself, we will highlight the sections required so that it will create a visual understanding of the concepts. And similarly, for example, if uh, definition of Scrum, there are some blanks you can see on the screen and we will share some words to them and we will ask the participants to fill those words into the blanks. And finally, we will highlight the words like this. For example, Scrum is a framework. And it helps you to create adaptive solutions for complex problems. Then we'll drive the discussion. It's a group discussion. Why Scrum is a framework? Why do we need adaptive solutions? What is the meaning of complex problem like that? So similarly, Scrum framework explanation. This is a blank skeleton of Scrum framework. We will explain everything about Scrum framework by drawing the required sections elements in this framework so that it will help the participants to understand clearly what is Scrum framework and we take an example. And the good thing is we use our uh, class itself to run the Scrum framework. So we simulate the Scrum framework. So what happens is we will create a goal for the workshop and then based on the product goal, we create a product backlog for the topics required to achieve the goal in the class. And we discuss who owns the product backlog and who estimates the product backlog items, all these things. And we create a sprint, four hours of sprint. Each class, each four hours is a sprint for us. So in the two days training, we will divide into four sprints equal four hours. So each sprint, we do sprint planning by pulling these items into the sprint backlog like this. And then we discuss them. And finally, we create an increment, knowledge increment, where all that items are done. By the end of the sprint, whatever items are done, we will be moving into the increment. So this approach will help you to understand the Scrum through practical implementation in the class itself. And one more thing is th throughout the class, you may have some lot of doubts coming in something. Sometimes you may be able to ask. Sometimes you may be uh, unable to ask. So there is a parking space created. So open questions and answered questions. We give the link to this uh, parking space to, during the training. And whenever you have a question which is not relevant to the current topic or 
it is very specific to your uh, company or your career or your project simply come here you can write your name and followed by type your question so throughout the class we discuss this and then we will discuss and then i will move it to answered questions so it will create a lot of transparency in terms of open questions and we use tools like for example mentimeter we ask the participants okay based on your experience share us what are the possible challenges with waterfall way of working so we will give the link to the participants here using the link they will type the answers and all the answers will appear on the screen so that will bring a lot kind of uh, uh, interaction engaging and if they want to understand the scrum overview we have created this blank skeleton so this we ask them to go to breakout room so every 15 20 minutes maximum time they'll go to a breakout room you all the participants will go to the breakout rooms and they will have to map these items based on this for example scrum team consists of three accountabilities from the right side you have to pull what are those three accountabilities and scrum having five events what are those five events what are the five values so you have to map it so we will ask you to go to the breakout rooms to do this activity and come back which will enhance your learning experience through interactive learning and practical learning and similarly when you want to understand the scrum values for example we'll give you this picture a scrum build tree picture we ask you to go to the breakout room and you just need to put them into put them together to make it a complete picture and then you have to understand what is the tree taking the scrum team as a metaphor with tree what is that understanding similarly if you want to understand the product owner we ask you to create a product owner job description going into the breakout room looking into the pro product owner uh, accountabilities so what is that accountability and what are the characteristics of good product owner some general do's of the product owner don'ts of the product owner some rights so once everybody comes we will do a group discussion brainstorming to deep dive into the product owner the advantage is as a trainer when everybody is into breakout rooms doing the work i have access based on the breakout room number i will have access to their work and what they are doing and then if somebody is not really uh, on the track or they are not able to proceed further i can directly jump to that particular breakout room to help them unblock their uh, thought process so this is how we work and for example product backlog um we ask them to create a product backlog taking a sample product so for that product they have to come up with the product backlog items meaning features requirements all these things and then some acceptance criteria so when they are working i will have access to this excel sheet for all the breakout room numbers so i will see how they are performing in the breakout room if required if they need any help i will directly jump to the breakout room so this will help you to have a access to the trainer throughout the class and lot of interactions will be there and similarly scrum events so when you are learning the scrum events we'll give you this blank template so every breakout room based on the room number you have to select appropriate event slide and then you have to go to the scrum guide read that particular event and then come to the this slide to fill the information so based on the information we will deep dive for example uh, let's take the sprint planning itself so the way we teach the sprint planning is once you are completing that we will again open the ipad and then we went in, we go to the deep dive like this for example we ask okay based on your understanding what is the purpose of sprint planning so the participants will give the answer and we will open the answer they will validate their understanding similarly who is the who are the participants for the sprint planning mandatory and any optional and similarly what is the time box for sprint planning and when it occurs what is the frequency and what could be possible inputs for the sprint planning like that we use the ipad to draw the things while explaining and similarly what are the three topics of the sprint planning for example sprint planning comes with why the sprint is valuable and what can be achieved in the sprint and how the selected work can be achieved so we will write while explaining the concepts that helps you to understand the scrum framework visually and at the end of the class what we do is we will share all the drawings of this for example if you look at this recently completed class so it looks like this so all the drawings which we use in the class we will share it into a for pdf version and then we give you into a google drive so that it helps you to understand how um, 
the class is going on and you can use it as a reference for future uh, references. At the, at the end of the class, we also share a solved version of the handout, so which will have all the blanks filled in um, so that you can use it as a uh, references for the future. And uh, the, the material at the end we provide looks like this. So we have a Google Drive created. We call it as a Scrum Master Toolkit. So the toolkit consists of some templates, PDF version books, and a lot of videos and some homeworks and some useful information like this. So this toolkit will have access to you. And uh, not only to the toolkit, you also have access to the post workshop training support. For example, when you're implementing Scrum in your uh, company, if, if you get some practical scenarios or some help you need hand holding, so you can contact us at the end of the class also. So I hope this overview has uh, given you a quick understanding of how our uh, live virtual workshops are uh, conducted. And uh, if you want to know more about these uh, details, please feel free to contact us on contact at learnovative.com or you can call us at 994-999-4949. This is our contact number. I definitely look forward to seeing you in the class, one of the classes in the future. Thank you so much.